Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and today we are going to get into our Western Conference final predictions and previews. The Dallas Stars coming out of the Central and the Edmonton Oilers coming out of the Pacific Division. All right, so... The Oilers played spoiler alert in Game 7 in Vancouver. They were down 3-2 at one point in their series against the Vancouver Canucks. They come back and win that series. For the Dallas Stars, they come in in their second round matchup against the Avs. A really impressive performance against the Avalanche. They ended up taking care of the Avs in six games down in Colorado. So this is a situation where... Both of these teams coming from different paths, right? Edmonton had to overcome a series where they were down 3-2, two games in an elimination scenario, and found a way to win. For Dallas, it was more so, let's close this thing out before we put ourselves up against the wall in an elimination game, and that's kind of what they did. So for the Dallas Stars, how did they get here? Basically, it's a whole group of guys, and I think it's kind of interesting because both of these teams have the perfect combination of younger guys, well, not necessarily younger guys, but guys you wouldn't expect to be leading the team in points, and then you have the top guys, right? So for Dallas, their story is run by the young guys. It is Wyatt Johnston leading the way in terms of goals this playoff run so far. He has seven goals during the playoffs so far this year. Jason Robertson has nine assists. Uh, Haskinen has 13 assists. He really played well in that second round matchup against Colorado. The first round, it seemed like Dallas is, you know, Haskinen was a little bit quiet and he really found his game in the second round. He started putting up the points to show that and it's really been a good run for him. Um, in between the pipes, Ott Ottinger, Jake Ottinger has been great. He has a 918 save percentage, a 2.09 goals against average, and an 8-5 record through the playoffs. He's been really solid. Meanwhile, for the Edmonton Oilers, of course leading the way in goals, right, is Zach Hyman. He's got 11 goals through the playoffs so far. It is critical for the Oilers that they have someone other than Dreisaitl and McDavid producing goals. That is huge. Hyman is a huge reason why this team is where they're at. is because Hyman is able to score consistently important goals. And Hyman's been able to do that through the playoffs so far. Uh, McDavid has 19 assists for the team lead. No real surprise there. He's setting guys up in the slot. Dreisaitl's leading the team in points. He's got 24 points so far through the playoffs. And Stuart Skinner, he's got an 881 save percentage, a 2.87 goals against average, but his record is 7-3. So the situation in both of these series, if you're looking at it, you know, it, it is really, this is a difficult series to predict because I said this in the Eastern Conference Final um, predictions is uh, you know usually I break down the offense the defense and the goaltending who compares better against who when you get this deep in the playoffs it doesn't really matter because both of these you know the margin for error is so small if you have a genuinely bad offense or a genuinely bad defense or a genuinely bad goaltending you don't make it this far but with that said I would say that goaltending is the biggest advantage that the Dallas Stars have. And the fact that Ottinger, like I said, I mean, you look at purely the save percentages, a 918 save percentage and an 881 for Skinner. Skinner has faced a lot of adversity in that second round. Things went fairly easy for him in the first round against LA, a team that doesn't score a ton of goals and, you know, doesn't have the dangerous power like a team like Vancouver did in the second round. Dallas can score a lot of goals too, and they've done it against some tough teams. And, 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 you know, Oilers fans can hate me for this, but I think they've been kind of going with the narrative. This is our easiest way of getting to the Western Conference Final. The Vancouver Canucks and the Los Angeles Kings are the easier teams in the Western Conference to play. They didn't have to go through Vegas. They didn't have to go through Colorado the way that Dallas did. And mind you, Dallas won the Western Conference um, championship, right? Or in terms of they had the most points at the end of the regular season in the Western Conference, okay? So they didn't win the Western Conference yet. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But they had the most points, and who did they play? Vegas and Colorado. So that's just how the playoffs go right now. It, it is what it is. But I would definitely say, without a doubt, that the Dallas Stars had a much more difficult path here, which could also be their disadvantage because they've played tougher hockey and by the time you get to the conference finals, are they maybe a little bit more winded? Maybe a little bit more tired than the Edmonton Oilers? And that's something that 
you know, I don't think of it that way, but it is a narrative that could be created toward Dallas is could they be a little banged up and bruised going into this? You know, Tyler Sagan missed, I think, game six for the Dallas Stars in their last matchup. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how Dallas comes into that series. You know, looking at the blue line for both teams, really good defensemen on both sides. I think I've really seen the best versions of the Oilers defense than I've ever seen of those guys. Um, I think Matthias Ekholm has added a ton of stability back there. He's been great. Evan Bouchard, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention him. And then kind of for Dallas, you have Tanev and Miro Haskin. And as your two, really, really the spotlight defensemen on those teams. So... Um, that's kind of what I'm looking at there. We talked, we talked about it up front, really for the forwards, for the, for the Oilers, it's Hyman, um, Dreisaitl, McDavid, those are your top guys. And unfortunately for the Oilers, this is where I think another disadvantage could be is they're very front loaded up top. They need to get more production from the scoring down in the bottom six. They need to be more balanced because Dallas is a very balanced hockey team. They score goals from everywhere. You're seeing goals from you know a guy like in the last series, Ty Delandreau picks up the overtime winner, and he was a scratch for the first three games of the series. You aren't really seeing that so much from the Edmonton Oilers, and we need to see that now. If the Oilers want to win a Stanley Cup, if they want to go to the Cup Final, especially against a team like Dallas that can do that, you need your own players that can score those clutch goals on the third and fourth line. I've been talking about this for years for the Oilers. It was a concern we had at points through this most recent series against the Vancouver Canucks. They have to find a way to get more depth scoring. It is, it is, you cannot avoid it anymore. There's four teams left in the playoffs. This is, this is time. This is your time to shine. Um, and then I'll lastly, before we talk about my predictions here, um, I want to thank both teams. Thank you. Because, <laughs> because Honestly, this was what I predicted for the Western Conference Final. So, give a little hand clap to both my Oilers and Stars fans. Thank you guys, because you made me look like a genius. For the East, the Rangers had to ruin the Eastern Conference for me, but nonetheless, the West is 100%, and that's because of your teams. So, thank you. The last stat I want to break down, power play, penalty kill, special teams, all of that. Power play, the best in the playoffs right now, resides in Edmonton. 38% on the power play. They killed teams on the power play. So for Dallas, they got to be careful. Got to stay disciplined. Got to stay out of the box because the Oilers will make you pay. Penalty kill, the Oilers also have the best penalty kill in the entire whoever's left, right? So for, for Dallas, I would say they match up better than Vancouver and LA do in those special teams categories. So it might be a little bit inflated for the Oilers, but still nonetheless, you want to avoid penalties if you are the Dallas Stars. They might try to make things a little dirty and mucky early in the series if they have to, to kind of throw McDavid and Dreisaitl off their game. We know teams like to attack Dreisaitl. So it'll be interesting to see how Dallas kind of, you know, kind of how they try to battle that situation. Uh, the faceoff percentage, Really favors Dallas here. Dallas was really good in the faceoff dot during the entire playoffs. Uh, not so much for the Oilers, which is kind of interesting. Uh, goals for during the playoffs, like I said, Edmonton's right at the top of that list. Um, really, this series is going to come down to the Oilers' offense versus the Dallas Stars' defense. I think that is the the main matchup here. And um, and going into my prediction now, because that's what you guys are here for. You know, obviously there is a lot going into this series, right? Both of these teams are in cup now mode, right? Obviously with McDavid and Dreisaitl, who knows what's going to happen with Dreisaitl, you know, in terms of his contract situation and things like that. Dallas has the perfect blend of guys like Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan and Joe Pavelski as sort of your guys that are there and kind of, leading the way, not necessarily on the stat sheet and the score sheet, but they're leading the way in the locker room. They're creating that chemistry, the culture of that team while you have the young guns like Jason Robertson, Haskinen, uh, Wyatt Johnston leading the point production for the team. That is something that Dallas hasn't had the past couple of years. And that's the difference between this Dallas Stars team and the team that went to the cup final in 2020. They had a lot of those core veterans that were aging and kind of coming onto the other side of their career, but they weren't producing enough. 
and you didn't have enough depth there to get that production. That's not the case anymore. Dallas has the depth. Jake Ottinger is phenomenal. He is phenomenal, and he has been so good through the playoffs this year. As long as he is good to go, he is good, he's ready to go, he, he is the guy that could be the difference maker in this series. And I think that ultimately, the Dallas Stars are heading back to the Stanley Cup Final in 2024. I think both teams are incredible. I think the Oilers are going to give a... They are going to give Dallas everything they have. They can score goals. They can score them in bunches. They're opportunistic. But I ultimately think the Dallas Stars are the type of team this year where they have enough structure to their defense. And as good as the Oilers' defense has gotten over the year, it, it, Dallas is the type of team that can play any way you want. And I don't think we've seen enough... I don't think we've seen enough from Edmonton yet in terms of teams they've played. And I hate to say that because I hate to discredit Vancouver and LA like that. But Dallas has had a much more proven path of the teams that they've played. And that's all we can go off of right now because these teams haven't played each other. So until Edmonton can prove that they can beat a team like Dallas... I'm going to go with the team that's had the tougher schedule to get here. They've beaten some really tough teams and in pretty impressive fashion. Like, you have to remember, you know, in the first round, Vegas was up 3 0 in that series, or 2 0, 2 0 in that series to the Dallas Stars, and they came back and won it. And then, kind of, you know, the opposite for Edmonton in the second round, right? Like, they were playing Vancouver. They thought they were winning the series, right? They end up going down 3-2 to the Canucks, and they had to fight their way back. So, both teams have faced adversity. Both teams have gotten here because they deserve to get here. But like I said, ultimately, I think the Dallas Stars will win this series in seven games. They've got home ice advantage. They just have the team. They have the team this year. And I think that, like I said, as good as Edmonton has been this year, I, I Stuart Skinner very much concerned me last round. So unless he's able to quickly kind of turn it around, forget about the past, and be able to move forward, I think that's going to be a real issue, especially against Jake Ottinger, who has just been so freaking good. I just, it's difficult for, for me to pick the Oilers here. So that's my final predictions, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. Who do you think is going to go on to the Stanley Cup Final as the Western Conference champion? I'd love to know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.